Have you ever come across a YouTube video and thought, damn, this would be a cool game to play? That is what I tried achieving. For over two months, I have been developing, working every day, non-stop, tirelessly, putting blood, sweat and tears into this messy, boring, unfinished prototype of a game, if you can even call it a prototype. I started at what may be one of the worst times to start any hobby project, a week before finals ended. <laughs> now, my first step was briefly brainstorming what I wanted the game to be. I created a Trello board and assigned the different cards to the different uh, lists that I created. Now, since I was in a rush due to studying for exams, I took assets from the internet and from previous projects and merged them all to create this monstrosity. This first clip was from around the 16th of November. At this point, I just focused on getting the basic movement, jetpack particles and the background scene. Now, since I had not programmed since around January, I lost quite a bit of my programming touch. My code was therefore very messy. Let's see. Whoa, okay, 240 lines. I'll need to clean this up later, but it is what it is. Shortly afterwards, I decided to import a proper space character model and then change the background scene to become more alive. For this, I just added an earth and a sun model and made them all but very slowly around the player. I still felt that something was missing for this testing scene, so I added a few rigid bodies for the player to interact with. I added a feature as well, where the player could rotate themselves with the jetpack in zero gravity. A bit buggy, but works. At this point, I was mostly satisfied with the movement, and so I started focusing on the combat and animation. So, I used an IK node and another node as a target to animate the hand positions. This method of animating works, but it only suggested for short and simple animations. I created three barebone animations and activated the IK node during runtime. After this, I implemented a simple lock-on system, where the player faces a target and orbits around them. For this I just used the look at function. I only really had issues when the player was directly flying above the target, but other than that, it got the job done. Things were shaping up pretty nicely, but I wanted more. And so I started the animation process by retrieving animations from Mixamo, importing them into Blender, organizing them, fixing them up, and then I imported them into Godot and set up an animation tree. Previously I had only used the animation player because it was simple and worked. But after using the animation tree, it feels like you've reached enlightenment until you realize you don't know what the hell is going on. This was the state of the prototype around the 4th of January. More animations were added, the movement worked, the jetpack was functioning. You could rotate yourself. The lock-on system did the job, and the sword was updated to play sound effects and had a cool trail. There were still a few bugs though due to my incompetent code, but it was decent at that point. At the moment, I've rewritten or reorganized the code, basically splitting functions such as camera handling, jetpack handling, and sword damage between different scripts. Previously, I kept everything in one play script, but now the functions are spread out. Mostly. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this prototype. I can upload more in the future. Oh, snap back to reality. Uh, university is about to start for me though, so I'll be slowing down again on YouTube and my programming projects for about a month or two, just to settle in. After that, I will try to get more content out. So, the moral of the story, do not start any hobby project before or during the exams. I managed somehow, but not everyone will. See you.